our top five variants on a budget. So we're looking at stuff that's like, you know, 30 bucks or less uh, roundabout. Because there are some pricey ones we could have went with or I could have went with when yeah. going through the list. But we'll try to go for the cheaper cheaper options, I guess. <clears throat> Things you can buy yeah, even today. So in going through these characters, uh, I kind of went through it by characters. And I started hitting up the big guns first and the bigger, bigger tier characters. And yes, I am not biased against Wesley Snipes. So I went with the Blade Book to start. But the Blade Book that I went with was this Ultimate Avengers <laughs> number three, well, Ultimate Avengers three number one, which is really like issue seven or six. I don't know how they counted it, but this is the one in 25, the foil edition, which is still super cheap. This is Nothing a foil says cover. 90s like foil. Even no, this is late 90s. 90s. This no, is like 2000, early 2000s foil. 2004, 2006. Yeah. Somewhere in there. Mm. But uh, it's a one in 25. So it's an incentive variant, which, you know, it's always nice to grab an incentive. And look, somebody got this best offer for under eleven bucks. Look at the so shine on that foil too. That's yeah. cool. they, they accepted That's less than eleven bucks on this thing. And you got the blood splatter, which plays nicely with the foil. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty cool cover if you see it in person. Well, if you see the foil in person, it kind of pops out at you. I would have to agree. So that was the first one I went with. The next one I went with was a Ghost Rider. This is the variant for issue twenty-eight, not the other twenty-eight. But this later volume, 28, where it's actually, I want to say it's kind of the B cover. It's not an incentive because it's part of a connecting with the yeah. regular 28. So there's a regular cover and then there's the variant, but they connect to form this Johnny Blaze, Danny Ketch kind of face off because they made Danny Ketch's Ghost Rider a blue Ghost Rider. So he stood out you know, from the other. So it's the same book number, or just the B cover? Yes. Okay. Just cool. different covers for the same book. Mm -hmm. You can put them together and you get a complete image. But still a cool book to find if you can find it. And you can see that it's 15 bucks. Yeah, it's a harder so, one to get. The variant does well. I mean, the regular book is probably five bucks, maybe cover price. It's like a cover price book, but the variant mm -hmm. for one reason or another, even though it's not an incentive, still you know gets a little bit of a premium. Morbius was tough to find a cover that wasn't uh super expensive because some of the incentives for his were pretty pricey, but I actually did like this Scotty Young. I'm not a huge Scotty Young cover fan, but some of the ones he does, and like one like this with the blood and the bottle, mm -hmm. it's, I don't know, it stands out. I kind of dig it. Like if it's done well, I like his covers. Did they have this in a different color? Was this in a blue two or red or two? Or I don't know. I think this was it. I think it was this kind of mm -hmm. purplish kind of like hue to it. Mm -hmm. And again, it's not an incentive. It was just a variant for this Morbius issue one and this yeah, is it's a, when they had him do it all over it. oh wow this is 30 bucks like wow. this is at the top end oh because it's one of those ones i think they might have probably made a pin out of this and you know how sometimes the collectors oh yeah you know like the moon knight one sells well because if they make a pin that sells mm -hmm. well then the comic kind of gets pulled up by it so this is kind of a case of uh of that i believe but it's still kind of a fun cover mm-hmm now the next one i picked was this doctor strange and the sorcerer supreme number one variant now this i mean it features the first what i think it's the demon rider mm. uh Kushal, i forget what her name is but i think she got a one shot recently and there's talk she okay. could be in the running for sorcerer supreme but this is a one in 15 mm -hmm. this is a one in 15 i want you to keep that ratio in mind because for this same book this is the one in 25 variant for that same book mm -hmm. the one in 25 Sells for three hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. So if the one in twenty five is a three hundred dollar book, the why is better? Is the one in fifteen able to be had for fifteen dollars and fifty one cents at auction? Just saying, like if because it's it that looks like important, Doctor Strange is, is about to cut off his leg. Well, it's a design cover, you know. Oh, it's yeah. just. Yes, he's going to cut his own leg off with his axe, but it's just, you know, kind of a design thing. But still, it it's things like this you got to pay attention. Like, don't just discount the lesser ratio because, well, it's not the hardest to find cover, so let's not look at it at all. This is where you're going to have to play yeah, play in that game, I think. Yeah, so when it does go down to that, that's it. Those are always the ones where people are like, oh, wow, and then all of a sudden it's too late. Yeah, then it starts to gain ground. Because uh, I will say there are copies of this have also sold better, like in the $50 range, but I'm just using this as an example that you can see that auctions, if you are patient and you look, things can sell. So this wasn't a buy it now where somebody quickly scooped in like, oh, they listed it too low and they bought it right away. Everyone had a shot at this and at auction, this ended at 15 bucks. But meanwhile, 
other buy it now has ended at like 50. Hmm. But I got one more, one more for the top five. And this is from that same run of Ghost Rider from that uh, 28 before. This yeah, yeah. is the variant for number one. And this is also a Silvestri cover. This is a one in 15. I like the color version better. Mm -hmm. But I put this on the list because there's also, and that's $25. Well, there's a black and white. There is a black and white, which is the, uh, what is, I think it's one in 30 for the black and white. It's not like a sketch. It's barely there. It's like barely visible. One in 30, huh? One in 30, but it's also 25 bucks, basically. Is that a gimmick, though? So. Yeah, I hear you. I just wanted to keep keep an eye on, pay attention to, and that kind of thing. But I couldn't even stop there, even though I just gave you six. Yeah. No, bonus pick. There's a couple of, uh, I had more. Do you like, Eric, do you like the color or the black and white better? Oh, I like this one. The X-Men with the X. Yeah, the special is good, but yeah, Eric, I'm, I'm telling you, the color is so much better to me, I but so too. I get the black and white. This is a second print for X-Men number two. This is when they started off with that whole Dracula storyline. Mm -hmm. But I found this in Dollar Bin, I think like once or twice now, actually. So keep an eye out for this thing for cheap, but I dig this blade cover. Yeah, it's cool. It is. It's a second print, so it's not an incentive, but it's not the easiest thing to find. And best offer on 30 bucks. So you can kind of guess it's in that $25 range. So it's a little pricey because a lot of these later printings start to get pricey. But uh, just one to kind of throw out there. Not what you're thinking. Since it's an X-Men book, you're not thinking Blade. No. no, no. Uh, again, real quick, Morbius 1. This is the same book as that Scotty Young book. But this is the second print. Blue Border from this era. There's I buy any of these Blue too. Borders. Yeah. yeah. Basically anything I'm buying these days because it's worth it. So second print. This was, uh, I think this is mostly going like a $10 book. Best offer on 10 bucks, so hmm, under 10 nice. bucks. But this could be something that might start creeping up as uh, Leto's movie you know, starts getting closer. Because people love later printings. Cool. The color is better, too. Yeah, everybody thinks the color is better. Yeah, color is definitely better. And one last one, also kind of tying back, because it's the same book as before. That's why I, I don't count this. because they're so goofy looking. This is goofy looking. But this is that Doctor Strange and Sorcerer Supreme again. Again, if that character is really that important, that first Demon Rider, this book is a Comic-Con box. I don't even know what a Comic-Con box is or how you got a hold of this. But this weird random variant, how many could there possibly be out there? I have no idea. But it's not even just this. There's a black and white version. And I only know that because you can see in the sale, 30 bucks for the pair. I don't know. I just don't know how many are made of this book. I get it. The art's not great. It's very cartoony. But it's got to be a tough-to-find book. I mean... In comparison to like the regular issue, like the regular issue of this straight Sorcerer Supreme number one could sell for like 30 bucks for like a cover A or was for a little while at least. So to get a harder to find variant, it's just something I pay attention to. 